Hey Kaiki, Richard Metal Fantel, bring you guys a brand new 2020 album review. And today we're gonna be looking into the new album from the band and Sephirum entitled Vlasic, which is released today through Metal Blade Records. And you can obviously guess I introduced myself in fin Finnish. It took me a couple, me a bit just to to get the pronunciation right. But anyway. Wait, wait, for those of you who aren't familiar with Ensiferum, they're a folk metal band based out of, obviously, Helsinki, Finland, and these guys have been around since 1995, and, as you say, yeah, 25 years of Ensiferum. And, I mean, I discovered Ensiferum about six, seven years ago. Um, I don't know, I saw, I saw somebody post about it, and I went and checked them out, and I went and checked out all their other stuff, and they became one of my favorite bands, and, you know, and I've seen them live last year year when they played with septic flesh and arsis at the mastery in atlanta and they put on an excellent show and like these guys have been putting out their album since their self-titled debut album in 2001 which was which was i thought was a pretty good album and that was around the time where they had a uh, yari mampa on uh, vocals and guitar along with him and marcus who's actually the only original member left and you know ensiferum has gone through a lot of lineup changes but it was until after iron which is probably my favorite album of theirs that they kind of had a um where pet where, where uh, yari had left or, or got kicked out out and then they got petri lindrus of norther and so they got that then they got uh sammy hinka and uh yane on the drums and they pretty much had those four pretty much had a pretty solid lineup lineup chain and solid lineup with the exception of that different keyboard players and stuff and this new album the band is eighth overall full-length album um, is of course the follow-up to 2017's uh, Two Paths. So I thought it was a pretty good album, and this actually marks the introduction of a new member, uh, Pecky Pekka Monten, on keyboards and clean vocals, and I think he does a really great job, and he has a really, the Duke has like a really great range when I first heard the one, the first single on this album, the Run, Run Woman Victory, and I thought that he was a great singer vocalist and then I was curious about the rest of this album and does this album kind of like live up for exceed what Two Pats has? In my honest opinion, I think it definitely has like Ensiferum probably for me hasn't released a bad album and I don't think they've ever will. Um just one thing to know about the vocal department, uh, Petri's like harsh vocals are just very crisp and clear. You could definitely tell tell what he's singing even when he's growling and the clean work from of course Sammy Hinka who also does cleans as well as Marcus uh, and uh and now newcomer pekka you could definitely tell like the, the cleans are really great on here um guitar wise petri and marcus can do no wrong just like the riffs they come up with the great and just the, the leads just make it really just sound just folky and hence why it's folk metal the bass wise bass playing is i kind of wish was a little bit audible and the keyboards definitely create a lot of atmosphere to it and just the drumming like yanni just keeps a pretty good great beat to it so anyway, without further ado, let's just dive into this album track by track. Now starting things off is Seafarer's Dream, which is a, which actually is very orchestral. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, I can't remember the album, the, not the album title, the song name, uh, the, which is the opening track from Iron. It's, it has that kind of vibe to it, and it could definitely pretty much sound, sounds great, and it pretty much sets the tone for the album with a really great just I don't know just very cinematographic view feel to it which is a pretty great way to start this album and then moving on to the first one of the first singles I believe was Rum Woman Victory it has some very fast reads that creates a great dynamic for, for this album and just has just remi remarkable from the start it's just like the clean vocals provided by of course the new member Pekka Montan and I just feel it makes it just sound his vocals right here just sound very just power metal y and it surprisingly fits in here. Um moving on to Ad Andronima uh, Adra the I can't even speak today. I'm sorry guys. Andromeda, which has a really great melody and the song is a very powerful folk metal song and some really great vocals and I love like the combination of Petri's growls and Pekka's clean vocals and you could definitely tell Petri and Pekka's clean vocals are pretty much a pattern here it definitely just flows through amazingly just the two combined together just make it sound fucking amazing and um, then we go to the defense of the Sampo which is just a very energetic 
epic track with a powerful chorus. Uh, Run From The Crushing Tide has some really great riffs and some very galloping like rhythm sections and it's probably the fastest song on here and that but you know, but really just near the end of the song it slows down significantly and includes a pretty much incredible folky feel I'll do it and then and then there's a really great scream in there but Four Sirens and now we're about halfway through the album and this is pretty much where it kind of slows down a little bit which is weird it's the most folk sounding song on here with it also has a bit of an accordion to it to it and I just love sort of like the blend of like Petri and Pekka's vocals here um, one with the C which opens with a strumming of like an acoustic guitar combined with sort of like violins and and there's like really no place for Meldrex here it's just uh, but then right after a little bit it just becomes heavy and it just regains strength and they, even though it kind of feels like it's gonna go into a ballady ish kind of song um, Midsummer Magic which breaks this <laughs> kind of like we feel like this album just gotten serious yes but i feel like it's just a silly song which kind of like talks about like the midsummer celebrations that happened in finland <laughs> and it's just a very funny song and there's like a little bit of like a finnish song section song and finnish song by sammy hinka their bass player here <laughs> it's just a pretty much a fun song i can imagine them playing live like you could just have some beers and have a good time and then we the album closes with Cold Northland. Then I can never pronounce that, that part three. It starts with a great piano melody and it's pretty much one of the most ambitious tracks on the album. And it has like a kind of like doom like riffs to it and some really great orchestrations, making a track very just epic and stand out. And it's also the longest song on here, so it clocks in at pretty much nine minutes long. So yeah, they could definitely tell you want they want to close it on an epic note. Now overall, Thalassic by Ensiferum is an, another great album to, of theirs in their discography. So if I have to give this album a score, I'm probably going to give this probably a solid 9 out of 10. So yep, that's my review of the new Ensiferum guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal. Ketos.